What is another one? I'm hoping that you're good. We've got uh, our most common problem here, as you already know, it's a Dell charging AC adapter unknown. So, yeah. I don't know exactly why it's why we're always getting this problem. I'm not sure whether people around can't fix it or what, but yeah. When we plug it in, let's see if it will start now. Okay, yeah, it is powered on. There we go. Let's get into the BIOS. I didn't check it yet. I just got it now, so we're going to check it together. Uh, let's see. So we got a battery information. AC adapter unknown. All right, so let's take the motherboard out and uh, have a look at it because that's the only way, literally. There's no shortcut around this. We have to pop it open. So I'll pause now and uh, yeah, resume once I've opened it up. All right, so now we're inside the machine. As you can see, we've got signs of liquid and uh, cockroach infestation in here. So let's take it off. I've just opened the chassis really but I'm not I'm not yet through to the motherboard. There's still quite a lot of work to do. These are these are really you know intact laptops. If you see yourself breaking these hinges, yeah you are a destroyer. But they're really, really intact. So having to to achieve breaking this is uh, yeah, that's a milestone. Uh, one more screw for the fan, and we should be good to go. All right. Uh, What's holding it in? There we go. The motherboard is out. I need one more thing that I've just put aside, but I think I've got it somewhere close by, which is a charging port. Because uh, I'm working on exactly exactly the same motherboard, but uh, the one I'm working on doesn't start at all. Anyways, here we are, guys. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? Our charging port sits over there. It sits right over there, which means our Our AC detect circuit should be somewhere down here. When we look around, we should find PL3, PL3, D1, D2, something like that. There it is. This is the one right over there. PD, whatever. I think this is the circuit. We can always confirm. Multimeter. Multimeter in beep mode to we'll put it in the middle of the charging pin like that. Actually, that's not the one. Huh. Really? It's not this one. Nah, it has to be here. Ain't no way I'll be wrong about this. Let me just check one more time to make sure that it should be here. Let me just confirm if the charging port works before I 
Yeah, it's gonna charge him up to X. Oh no, it's here. I was so wrong. It's just underneath the charging port itself. Underneath the heat sink, I mean. Close to the charging port. Because I just saw PQ3 there. If I'm not mistaken, PQ3 has to be related. PQ3, PL3, there it is. And PL3 is blown, so that's why we've got AC attacks are not. So, where is that? Uh, right over there. I'm going to try to focus on that and bring more light upon it. So, this is our PL3, and you can see it's all blown up. So we need to attend to that. But before we change that, we need to figure out exactly why it bent. Because this generally doesn't bend. It's a very low voltage circuit, so which side is... So we're checking for a short circuit over there, on the input and on the output. So we do have a short on the output. This should be the one that goes with the charging pin. And this is this one that goes to the rest of the circuit. So you can hear it's beeping there. Around PG5, we should only get one ground. We've got a lot of ground on it, all around it. So from, if you remember, our PD, our PD, PD5, that, uh, that double diode, it's got ground on one side and it's got our PDID circuit on the other side. So we should be able to just take it off and uh, hopefully that's the cause of our ground. So actually this is this is pretty much the first time I've applied the knowledge that I've got from fixing a lot of AC adapters not installed. What I mean is like I think all of the videos that I've made, I've never fixed the same issue twice. There is almost always something else that's causing AC adapter not to be detected. Uh, let's just confirm if our short circuit is gone. Yep. Looks like it's gone. That's ground, and this is our positive side. So coming from our PO3, it should be coming, yeah. These, these are connected together. Sorry, I didn't notice it's not focused. But anyways, PO3 should be there, so it will be linking to that and to that. As you can see, there's a, wire, there's a line there. Okay, you can see it right over there. So it comes there. So from here, basically it comes to PO3. From PO3, it comes through these pins, and then it goes like this, all the way to PQ3, PQ2, whatever, all that. So from here, I can just get a jumper wire, connect it from here up to this line. That should be fine. You don't need to replace anything, actually. And our AC adapter should be detected at this point. So yeah, I've worked on... A you see a chapter not installed before and it was being caused by this same diode linking our PDID to ground instead of just, yeah. It's okay actually because uh, it simply means it did its job when someone failed to plug the AC adapter properly or when they put a wrong AC adapter or something like that and the diode worked. It basically protected the circuit, so our laptop, or rather the EC, is still alive today because this reverse diode did its job. So, yeah. So all I'm doing is just replacing that... Uh, that PL3 with this jumper wire.
All right, I've replaced that. So this should be fine. Now this should be okay. Just confirmation uh, from our charging pin. Do we get continuity? Oh, I missed the hole. There we go. So it's there, it's there, it's there, it's there, which means we're good. And do we have ground? We do not have ground. So let's put back the heat sink and uh, assemble up this thing. coming in but I can't take it because I would have to end this video. Uh, how long has it been? It's been 11 minutes. That's a long video. I take it nowadays is 10 minutes. <laughs> Although yeah if I was working on my own I would have done it way quicker. But yeah we have to make content I guess so that's why we end up having to to take long. You know this uh, this microphone it keeps touching my chin. I hope it's not making some funny sounds when it does that. So okay, I've got a power light over there by the power button. I've plugged the charger, 90 watts charger. So we'll just wait for it to finish learning but I'm gonna need a keyboard for this and then the USB keyboard for that okay here is one let's just wait for it to get a picture and then yeah we will be good to go taking long video is now 13 minutes two extra minutes that's one part where they suck hmm. I'm gonna pause and wait for, it, for the video to come Okay guys, so I thought this was going to be simple and easy, but uh, yeah, I've been, been scratching my head for long now. So as long as I'm using the charger, after fixing the AC adapter, you never get a display. It will just be stuck like this. It's on, it responds to the power button, but never gives us display. However, if I remove the charger, and I use the, the DC power supply. Okay, let's switch it on. So you can see the CMOS battery is plugged in. And it gets stuck there. And then if I switch it off, it will go off. Then I switch it back on. Ah, you look at that nice tag again. What well, I notice is that it displays with us, but it doesn't display with the charger. I honestly don't know why. Let me check it off for a minute. I'm not going to reset it. I want you to still have that memory. Because it's been displaying several times with uh, 
TC power supply. There, you see, the TC power supply is placed. But with the charger, it doesn't. It just won't display. That is strange behavior. I have plugged the charger. Power on. And it's just nothing. So you can see it is on. Even if I reset it, it just won't display. So I'm thinking maybe there is a fault up ahead the AC adapter circuit. Oh, there we go. Now it displays. Let's see if it can get us to the BIOS so that we can confirm if our AC adapter is being detected now. But judging by the time it's taking to get into the BIOS, uh, I see a chapter is in. Okay. And you never know. Oh, it is. I see a chapter 65 watts. Huh. So it was working after all. I just don't know why it was misbehaving. So let me grab a battery, plug a battery, and see if it charges up. Alright, so uh, I switched it off to make sure that it would switch back on and display. And it did. I don't know why, but it seems like you have to switch it on. Switch it off, then switch it on a second time. It will display. So AC adapter charging 16%. So we just have to see it going to 17%, and we can conclude that it has been fixed. I'd still need to figure out if this doesn't affect anything. As you can see how it looks over there in that area. So that is the corrosion which is coming from this side but yeah it uh, seems like our issue was only related to that guy all we want to do now is to see if this goes to 17 percent so we're still on 16 percent oh there we go 17 percent this is charging guys it's fixed anyways thanks for watching guys i will see you in another clip i hope you learned something like me goodbye